Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Ryan and today I'm going to be talking about why you should be paper filing your tax return. Now, this might come to a surprise to you, but you know, just listen to the video and, uh, and you know, you'll understand what I'm where I'm coming from. All right, so uh, the, the main reason many people paper file their tax return is because maybe they tried to e-file it and the e-filing was rejected and there's no cure for the e-filing, you know, like for example, Sometimes um, maybe the spouse's information or the dependent's information is kind of messed up in the social security database. And so it doesn't match up with the e-filing. And so, you know, the best solution there is to just paper file the return. Um, another reason would be like maybe your tax return was fraudulently filed or your spouse's or your dependent's tax return were fraudulently filed. And so the system thinks that you already filed your tax return and thus you can't e-file again and thus you get a rejection. Uh, that's another time for you to just, you know, simply sign, print your return, sign it and, and paper file it to the IRS by mail. Or, you know, there are some places where you can, uh, you know, schedule an appointment with the IRS office and go down there, submit your tax return by paper and uh, good to go there. A second reason why you would want to paper file your return is, is if you like the uncertainty of having your mail get lost. Yeah, that's right. Um, you know, the USPS does an incredible job. Like, it's surprisingly reliable. Uh, you know, I've looked it up online and, you know, anywhere between only half a percent to maybe three percent of all mail gets lost. And, you know, it's really hard to quantify that, obviously, but, you know, that's a very low number. So if you like to paper file your return and with the uncertainty of lost mail, then, you know, by all means, have at it. Um, your, the chances of your mail getting to the IRS itself is pretty high, okay? Uh, it's just what happens afterwards, you know, there's still the whole entity that is the IRS. You know, the IRS collects revenue from all of the citizens of the United States, so it's got to be a, this massive entity. So, you know, there's a lot of moving parts, there's a lot of physical departments and stuff, so you know, while your return can get to the IRS office, now it's got to move through, you know, the proper physical channels for it to get processed, and that can take even longer. So, you know, if you like waiting for that kind of stuff, then by all means, paper file your return. Maybe you don't trust the uh, security of the e-filing system, and that's why you want to paper file. I mean, that's understandable, like electronic stuff, there's data breaches all the time. Uh, people are phishing, they're trying to look for ways to get your personal and private information. So yeah, it's understandable to not really trust the e-filing system. Uh, well, I understand, however, that the e-filing system is very secure. There's, you know, state-of-the-art encryption and cybersecurity, and I'm not really going to pretend like I know what any of those things are or what they, you know, entail, but I do know that there's no known uh, incidences of any breaches occurring from e-filing or you know from the IRS database you know the breaches occur in some other companies you know like Equifax where they can take your information and then try, try to file a tax return on your behalf but I have not heard of any breaches happening through the actual e-filing process yeah it's understandable because it's, it's a relatively newer thing you know the mail's been around forever e-filing is a newer thing uh, it's understandable to not, you know, want your data be breached or hacked, you know, so that's why you might want to choose the paper file you return. Uh, but I assure you, it's very, very secure. Do you like things to take six to eight months longer than they should? Then you probably should paper file your return, uh, especially during the pandemic times, you know. Um, first, you know, I talked about before, there is that uncertainty that you may lose your mail what chances are you won't. You know, once it gets to the IRS office, it has to go through these physical channels to get properly processed by the IRS itself. And, you know, since the pandemic started, people have been working from home at the IRS. There have been staff shortages. There's just been a lot of things that have been going wrong. And so things that you paper file take a excruciating long amount of time to process. So. If you have patience, if you like waiting for things to take a long time, then by all means, paper file your return. Now, obviously, this is a, a more cheeky video on, you know, why you should probably e-file instead of paper file, as, you know, things get a lot more complicated when you paper file. You have to print out your entire tax return. 
you know, there's worksheets and schedules and different forms. Some of them you need to send to the IRS, some of them you don't. You know, so once you, when you paper file, you have to decipher what needs to be sent and what doesn't, okay? You gotta make sure you and everybody in the tax return has to sign the return so that's you and your spouse, okay? That's the other thing. So uh, getting it to the right place, the IRS has you know, tons of different addresses that you can mail stuff to. Uh, you wanna make sure you send it to the right address based on where you live. So you know, all this to say, e-filing is a much more simple process. It gets, thing, it gets things done much quicker. It's secure. And it just makes sure you, know, you have a receipt of acceptance. You know, once you e-file, you'll see that it was accepted or rejected. So you know, you know for sure if the IRS got it, and that's kind of a nice little uh, peace of mind there. You know, if you mail something, you might send it certified mail with a return receipt. You know the IRS received it, but now it's gotta go through these channels, uh, these physical channels to make sure it gets processed. And you know, it definitely could get lost along the way there too. With the backlog that's happening at the IRS where there's millions of tax returns still unprocessed that have been paper filed, uh, let's just try to you know, work on trusting the e-filing system. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, definitely reach out. That's all I got for today. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you found this video helpful, entertaining, stupid, then you know, smash the like button. That would be awesome. All right. Thanks for now. Take care. Stay safe. I'll see you next time. Change up.